What's up YouTube? For today's video I'm going to make these holsters and modify this belt. I, I ended up putting some quick release clips on it and made this out of some foam and painted it. I also did these holsters over here that are loosely based on the ones from the comic. And you'll notice the ends of these come out so you can see the silver of the guns. I figured that would help, up break, up, uh, help break up the overall costume and put a little more needed bit of color and splash into it and yeah let's get into this video all right so making the actual holster shell for these is going to be probably the simplest part uh, for one thing i want the tips of these sticking out of the holster and part of the reason that is just to put a little splash of something other than black in my cosplay to help uh, break it up and what I did here was I took a piece of 5mm EVA foam. I sat it where I wanted it to come off the end of it. And then I just traced around it in the shape that I wanted the holster to be. Next, I took a piece of 2mm EVA craft foam and cut it to the length that I wanted. And I already took my heat gun and just heated this one up a little bit. And you can see it already has the shape going on here. The next one I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this edge here overlap it and glue it on the other side. I'm going to glue it right along the edge here, not on top of the foam itself, but right on the edge is where I'm going to put the super glue. Alright, so on this one I've already glued in this side and I took this out, glued the edge here, and now I'm going to place this back in put some glue on this edge and then fold this over and I'm going to pull it tight make sure it's going to hold the piece in place and hold it there and let the glue set and then I'm going to trim off any excess and now this side's glued on and this is that excess I was talking about that I'm going to have to go ahead and trim off alright so I have both holsters here done and goes in and out pretty good but still holds it in place which is nice you know if it's going to stay upside down then it's obviously going to stay whenever it's on my hip just fine and I've trimmed off the excess on both sides and like I say they're both pretty sturdy okay and next what I have to start doing is building the rest of it first of all this is going to have uh, a piece of pleather or something that's going to fold over here and attach to some Velcro. So it'll go on my belt. But there's also going to be a couple other straps coming off the sides here that are going to attach to the belt. And that's for two reasons. One, uh, it's drawn like that several times in the comics. There's a central spot where it attaches and there's two things coming off of it. They kind of have this segmented look to them. But... That's neither here nor there. My personal preference is I don't want the straps going around my thighs. It ends up getting all uncomfortable and I gotta pull my pants down or up constantly because of the stupid things. I gotta adjust the straps. They're too tight, they're too loose. I'm hoping with these two stabilizing pieces that are gonna come off and attach to the belt as well, that not only will I not need that, but they're not gonna flop around. They'll be firmly in place. I'll still be able to draw the pistols out and everything will be good. At least that's the hope. All right, I've taken each holster and I cut a strip of EVA foam, the two millimeter, and I used super glue to glue this to the bottom. And then this part here was a little flimsy, so I took a piece of two millimeter, or I'm sorry, three millimeter EVA craft foam, and I glued that on. And for that, I used super glue. Super glue tends to, whenever it's fully cured and, and dry and all that, it becomes quite brittle and hard. It also provides a level of stiffness. I did use a little bit of hot glue just to seal these edges up and help hold everything in place. This top part here is just some pleather. I actually scavenged from an old chair from a restaurant that was sitting out. And there's Velcro on it. Both the Velcro and the pleather itself I glued on to both pieces with super glue so a lot of super glue on this project so far not a lot of contact cement I did all this stuff off camera because it's pretty straightforward and simple cut a strip glue it on cut off the excess 
piece this stuff together, not much to it. Next, I'm going to do the straps that are going to come up and connect to the belt on both sides. And for that, I'm going to once again use some 5mm EVA foam. All right, so I just cut these curved pieces. These are going to be the ones that are going to attach to the belt here at the top. I did, however, cut this edge at a bias so that whenever I put it on here, it'll be at an angle. I did that on both sides. Probably see there as well. Okay, and this way, when you put this on your belt, with this facing forward, this will connect to the belt in the front, and this will connect to the belt more in the rear. And it will already be at that angle. And I already glued one together, so I can show you guys as an example. Okay, you can see here, this is the one for my right hip. And it will attach to the belt here, here, and here. Give you an example. Like that, so it actually fits the shape of my body. All right, so I've glued the straps on both of them. And I've also put some Velcro and pleather on here, just like I did with this other piece. And it fits pretty well and it's pretty comfortable and I'm actually wearing it right now. And yeah, it fits my hip pretty well. And whenever I'm walking and moving around, it's comfortable. I feel like it's stable. So yeah, I am happy with these. So next I'm going to take and brush some Mod Podge and all the foam to seal it. Then I'm going to go ahead and airbrush it with some opaque black paint that I mix with some 4030 polyurethane water-based additive. And then I thin that down. I'm going to go ahead and airbrush this up. All right, now that the holsters are all painted, I have this belt here. I bought this belt at a thrift store. I had one of those stupid like loop things that you're supposed to put it through and it just didn't stay. So I ended up just hot gluing this clip onto it. And I had initially did this for my Punisher costume that I wore to Comic-Con a while back. And I just threw it together in like a day and I had zero dollars really to spend on this. I had like 10, 15 bucks to finish the costume. And I got everything at the dollar store or this I got at a thrift store. This was like, I think, 99 cents, and I already had the clip. But the problem with this is, I noticed whenever I wore it at Comic-Con, is this is an actual nylon. This is an actual cloth. And whenever I had the holster on it, or grenades or anything, it kind of pulled this flat, and it looked really bad. So what I'm going to do is, I have some 3mm EVA foam strips here. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take and glue these on the inside so that it will hold the weight of the gun belts. Or I'm sorry, not gun belt, but the uh, weight of the holsters. And to glue this in, I'm just going to use some uh, hot glue.
Now, you'll notice I'm pressing this together with somewhat of a curve, and that is because obviously this is going to be curved and up against my body, so I don't want to glue it flat and have to put a lot of stress and strain on the actual hot glue. So I don't want the hot glue coming apart. All right, I've got the EVA foam glued into this with hot glue and I also put a bead around here I didn't put any on the bottom but on these ends and on the sides as well I did put some and it's a lot more sturdy and should hold and stand up straight in the area where I have the holster hanging and in between the holster and everything else I'm probably gonna put some pouches or I don't know something but I've already done a video on pouches, so whenever I come back and show you guys the completed cosplay, uh, you can see the completed utility belt, gun belt, whatever you want to call it. And the final thing I'm going to do to this before I try it and the holsters and the guns and everything on is I need to cover this. It's ugly. I hate it. Uh, this just pops out. I'm going to make something that's going to be glued onto here. And it's going to act as a belt buckle to cover this whole entire thing, but you can still take it apart. And that's going to be the next and final process of this. Alright, for the belt buckle, I just cut two rectangles. The first rectangle I cut, the edges are straight. And the second one, I cut the edges beveled, so they have an angle to them. And then... I used some rough grit sandpaper and just kind of roughed them up. Hopefully you can see it here on camera. I give it kind of a different uh, different texture. And now I took and cut this corner to corner and I'm going to glue these two pieces on top slightly offset so that it looks like uh, two pieces of a belt buckle clipping in together. All right, now that it's all glued together, I'm going to go ahead and seal it up real quick. And for that, I'm going to use some Mod Podge and a brush. And I'm just going to brush it on over the piece. All right, once the Mod Podge dry, I took some black acrylic craft paint and it's pretty flat so I mixed it with some gloss Mod Podge and brushed it on and right now it's not quite dry but it's almost dry and I'm gonna go ahead and overspray it with some silver from my airbrush next Alright, so I took some EVA foam and I glued it over the female part of the adapter. And that is so that this is offset enough that I can open and close it. If I just glued this on there by itself, then I would not have room to get my thumb and finger in there to pop this apart easily. It also makes it stand out a little bit. So now that I've got all that done, this is glued on, this has been airbrushed, and as I just showed in the previous clip, uh, I did some highlights on the edge and dry brushed it out. Gives it a lot more definition. I'm going to go ahead and use some super glue. I'm going to glue it onto here. Okay, I feel like that looks pretty good. Now I'm going to go ahead and put the guns on it and see how this looks. Alright, so here is the finished rig with the belt. I stuck this on a, <laughs> a sleeping bag, a camping sleeping bag so you guys could see it all. Oh, it sits with the pistols in it and it fits pretty well. It's pretty comfortable.
and I'm going to go back through later and have a separate video where I make utility belt pouches and things like that. So if you want to go back and watch that, you can, but I am just going to tell you now, I'm going to add maybe like a pouch here, circular Batman utility belt tube like thing here and here, just stuff like that on the actual belt. And I'm going to do one more final video after this and put it in the playlist, which will be the uh, final and fourth video of my Red Hood cosplay where I will show you guys the boots and the pants and the finished belt with the utility pouches and everything on it and the actual full costume. And as always, uh, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe.